Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, of course, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you very much for coming to see me again. While you're here, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel as well as my email newsletter. That information will be down in the description bar below. And without further ado, let me go. So today, I am going to do another sunscreen review. As someone with dark skin, I often struggle to find, you know, sunscreens that I, I like using on an everyday basis um, because of the limitations of the available sunscreen filters that exist in the United States specifically. Other countries have a lot more variety and so they can come up with a lot more different combinations of formulations that work well on the skin and are very well protected. You know, they'll protect the skin very well. So one of my goals is to definitely make sure that I try um, as many sunscreens that I can find that I like to use and that I will be encouraged to use every day because that really is what the goal is. The goal is to wear sunscreen every day so that you are properly protected and you're helping fight signs of aging and also more importantly protecting your skin from the damaging effects of UV radiation um, that can present itself as sun damaged skin and even more long term cancers of the skin. Black people or people with darker skin often think that they don't have to wear sunscreen and often do not. I did not grow up wearing sunscreen for a number of reasons, that being one of them. Uh, the other reason is being just not having sunscreen options that I can wear that was available to me in the Caribbean. So I, as an adult, had to learn to wear sunscreen and that took a lot of experimentation because of course there are more limited options at least then um, for what I can use as a sunscreen. All of that to say is that everybody needs to wear sunscreen even if you're indoors, even if it's raining, even if it's cloudy, you need to wear sunscreen. Definitely when you go outside especially if the sun is hot, it's at the, the sun is at its highest point during the day, you need to wear that sunscreen and you need to reapply. But you definitely need to wear sunscreen every single day. And my mantra is always the same. The best sunscreen to wear is the one that you're going to wear every day. Doesn't matter if it's chemical or organic or if it's a mineral sunscreen or physical sunscreen or if it's a mixed sunscreen, if you're going to wear the sunscreen every day, that's your best sunscreen to wear. So, I've rambled enough. I am going to do a review of a new sunscreen that, new to me, that I recently started using. And it's from a brand called Supergoop. Now, I have reviewed the Supergoop sunscreen before, the Unseen Sunscreen, and that is one of my favorite sunscreens. And during the Sephora VIB sale, the spring sale, I actually picked up a little kit from Supergoop because I really like what they've done. They have made sunscreen available in so many different formats for both face and body that you really have no excuse when it comes to finding a sunscreen that will work well for your particular situation. So I picked up this kit, a cute little kit with um, a recycled paper pouch. And it contained three different sunscreens. It contained the sunscreen that I have already reviewed in the past. It's the Unseen Sunscreen, one of my favorites. Um, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'm going to make sure to link it. It also came with uh, the Defense Refresh, a resetting mist. So this is a mist sunscreen that you can, they're, they're you know, positioning this as your sunscreen that you can apply over your makeup. And the sunscreen that I'll be actually reviewing today is the Play Everyday Lotion Sunscreen. Now these are travel sizes. I think this is a great idea, of course, for travel, especially if you're just going to have a carry-on. 
you know TSA rules still need you to have um, carry small bottle sizes and this is a great way to have sunscreen for travel it's a great way to try a sunscreen to make sure the formulation works for you now I definitely you know gear myself towards wearing chemical aka organic sunscreens as I've stated before I am not a fan of mineral sunscreens for two main reasons one is that they most often leave a very white cast on the skin sometimes the cast looks purple it looks gray it makes my skin look ashy and I think in 2021 that's unacceptable there are enough filters out there in the world where I don't have to resort to a filter that makes my dark skin look gray like that that's the last thing I would never wear that um, so that's why that's one reason why I don't wear or review mineral sunscreens um, especially if they have high amounts of zinc oxide which is one of the main one of the two available mineral filters the other reason is that for the most part they I get a bad reaction on my skin with mineral sunscreens I get burning of the skin I get fine rashes of the skin I get flaking um, and sometimes that effect happens almost immediately after applying the sunscreen and then other times that it takes maybe like a day or two I'll get like a fine rash on the skin just not pleasant at all so I generally st stick to chemical aka organic sunscreens and I'm talking about organic in the chemistry sense you know so that's where I am when it comes to sunscreen so I wanted to bring this review today so that you can see that there are other options out there if you have similar situations or concerns that I do so I again have already reviewed the unseen sunscreen fantastic sunscreen check this one out I'll put a link to the video and now to the place sunscreen so super Goop has done such an amazing job when it comes to sunscreens in terms of they have presented sunscreens in a fun way in a way that you can find a format that you like they have you know cream sunscreens they have more gel sunscreens they have mineral sunscreens they have chemical sunscreens they have sunscreens that comes in sprays they have sunscreens that comes in comes in oils they have sunscreens geared specifically towards babies they have so many different skews when it comes to uh, the different types of sunscreens that they offer that it's a brand that I definitely recommend you looking for to find what to find a sunscreen that you most like and that's most suitable to you and your situation so the play sunscreen now they're positioning the play sunscreen I'll definitely have a link to the picture down below in the description bar on my blog and I'll also a link to the Sephora website where it's sold in the United States so they're positioning this as your everyday lotion sunscreen for face and body it is SPF 50 which is a great amount of coverage and again the SPF tells you how much UVB rays it is protecting um, you also need to make sure to look out for the words broad spectrum in the United States which means it protects you both against UVA and UVB rays so it's a broad spectrum spectrum sunscreen SPF 50 it's a PA of four pluses which tells you what protection is giving you against UVA radiation and four pluses are, is the highest and I'm really glad that this brand is putting the PA rating which is not required in the United States you see that a lot more with Asian sunscreens sunscreens that come out of Asia and out of Australia and it's also water and sweat resistant up to 80 minutes so you are going to get some level of protection even if you're sweating profusely and or in a water situation 
but like with all sunscreens you definitely need to reapply if you face more kind of vigorous conditions so this sunscreen I really like this works really well on my skin I haven't gotten any negative reactions to this sunscreen um, let me just put down the other two here I have not gotten any negative reactions it's a really nice uh, creamy lotiony formula when it dries down it does leave a little bit of a sheen just like a lotion just like a moisturizer which I like especially with somebody somebody with dry skin like me I like that kind of glowy effect um, they're positioning this as your moisturizer protective moisturizer it is hydrating as well according to the brand it provides hydrating properties so if you have dry skin you would really like this sunscreen if you have oily skin I would probably recommend this to either use this on your body or to get one of Supergoop's other sunscreens like the unseen sunscreen because it has more of a silicone feel people with oilier skin might like that one or if you like to use to put on your sunscreen and then put on your makeup the unseen is great for um, that purpose because it also acts as a makeup primer which is how they're positioning it so this is your everyday sunscreen for face and body don't forget exposed areas of the skin not only on your face but the, your, the back of your neck behind and the tops of your ears and your chest area or any other area that's exposed so you can use this for both face and body it dries down to a invisible colorless sheen on which is great for me um when you're using a sunscreen i know i think i've seen it on tiktok and um on instagram people are recommending using a two or three finger rule you're really supposed to get half a teaspoon of sunscreen for the face and body to be properly protected so you see what the sunscreen looks like there it starts off as a white lotion very lightweight not sticky at all I don't know if you can see this let me put it against yes so you can see I have sunscreen on my on my fingers I've been using this kind of rule to kind of make sure that I, I am applying enough sunscreen and then I'm going to rub it in and you see what it looks like and now I'm applying this to my face I'm making sure I'm getting enough sunscreen on my face and then when you apply sunscreen you always want to make sure that it is the very last step in your skincare routine just before you apply makeup see it dries invisible there's no white film on the skin it dries completely clear completely invisible and it, it is hydrating and it gives me a bit of a sheen I didn't put any on my eyelids because I have makeup on and that's where the setting spray can come in to provide me protection on my eyelids this is a wonderful sunscreen it's non-greasy and as you can see I've rubbed it in pretty well into my skin let me just check the mirror here to make sure I don't have any residue left over and you can see my skin does have a nice glowy sheen to it, which I really like again if you have oily skin you may not like this but I am a glow queen love to look glowy especially when it's warmer and I love the finish of the skin it doesn't feel tacky on the skin it's a really good quality product and I really like this product uh, I believe there are some some other skincare benefits that they have advertised this is an all chemical sunscreen it's hydrating fast absorbing provides high performance against UVA UVB and IRA rays which are infrared rays um, while also helping protect photo aging and dehydration formulated to be water and sweat resistant so it's perfect for a day of play and it smells amazing it smells good I, I wouldn't call this scent amazing but it's definitely not offensive to me 
and it's a very very light scent so it's not it's n if you're sensitive to, to fragrance in your product or the smell of your product this has a very low uh, very subtle scented so I really like the sunscreen I wanted you all to see the sunscreen and see it in you know at play <laughs> no pun intended and I would highly recommend the sunscreen I love the sunscreen and make sure that when you apply your sunscreen you give it at least 15 minutes on the skin before you put anything else over the skin so what I usually do I'll apply my sunscreen I'll go eat or I'll put on my clothes or I'll, you know kind of fluff my hair or something and then come back and put on makeup especially if you're wearing foundation come back and put on makeup because you want that 15 minutes is going to give the product time to settle into the skin and to form that protective film on the skin so you just want to make sure that it your your, your face and your body is evenly covered and the the product has time to perform to form that protective film on your skin so that when you go out into the sun it is effective and it works again when I'm indoors especially now during lockdown I just wear this kind of like this one layer of sunscreen I don't have a lot of light coming in to my apartment I live in a little bit of a dungeon when it comes to light but if you're going outside if you're running errands if you're going to the beach this is a great sunscreen to have uh, definitely reapply after you know they say every two hours um, if you've been in the pool you just you definitely have to reapply and this is great that this film is still going to be there and give you skin protection even after 80 minutes of sweating or being in the water or you know in a, a situation where there's a lot of water around you so this 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 film will last through that but after 80 minutes you definitely should reapply this sunscreen to get continuous protection on the skin again SPF 50 a wonderful sunscreen I really like this product I need to get the super good body oil so that I can have my skin completely glowing and I definitely would recommend you checking out this brand they make a lot of great sunscreens and this is another one of them I hope to bring you some more sunscreen that I'm trying out um, there's this one brand that I'm just waiting for them to get their sunscreen back in stock because it sells out really quickly and I think they have been reformulated and repackaging and I'll definitely do a review on that one as well but play by Supergoop great everyday lotion everyday sunscreen I love it and I will highly recommend that sunscreen to everybody so make sure you check this out I'll have links to the product information down below thank you for joining me thank you for following me on this journey I will definitely have a playlist of my other sunscreen reviews that I have I've done in the past so make sure you check those out if there's another sunscreen that you want me to review make sure you put it in the comments down below have you tried this sunscreen let me know have you tried the body oil from Supergoop let me know that as well and I look forward to hearing from you so um, other than that make sure you like this video comment subscribe check out my email newsletter links will be down below and until the next time laters